Hi, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to jump right in this. We're going to be reviewing uh, these two editions of the Greek New Testament. You'll want to stick around to number seven. That's where, where I'm going to be talking about the textual issues, the differences between the TR tradition and the Alexandrian tradition. We'll talk about that at the end. That's uh, number seven. So the first category I want to talk about uh, today is the binding on these two editions of the Greek New Testament. We're comparing these premium editions, but these both have a very good binding. I will say that the TR binding tends to open flat a little bit easier uh, right out of the box than this, um, this, this one from the Tyndall House Greek New Testament. But still, I would say five out of five, they both have a really good binding. Someone had posted something in the comment section, one of my other videos, questioning some of the binding on the... Um, the TR, but I have found it to be great. It's a, They're both a nice sewn binding. Number two, let's talk about the font and readability of these two editions. The font size, ironically, is nearly identical, and the fonts look almost identical as well. Um, there are slight variations between the two, but they look really uh, very similar, both in size, I think they're both like a 10 point font and in line spacing, the line between the spaces. Um, yeah, so font and readability, I'm going to give them both um, a four out of five. I think the font could have been a little bit bigger in both of them, but still a 10 point font is really good. So 4.5 on that. Third category, margin space. Neither one of these are very big on margin space. Both of them are have very limited margin space. The Tyndall House Greek New Testament does have a little bit more margin space, but when it comes to getting notes in on the page, not a lot of room there. Uh, one of the other reviewers of this Texas Receptus, uh, Pastor Dane Johansson, uh, noted that this particular edition of the uh, TR left less space here. Um, at the bottom, so th that's sort of a downside. So margin space out of both of these, I would say one out of five for the TR, and I would say two out of five for the Tyndall House Greek New Testament. So number four, uh, book order. The Tyndall House Greek New Testament uh, uses a different book order than what we're used to in our standard editions of the Greek New Testament, whereas the TR edition, this edition, um, will follow normal uh, English book order basically. The Tyndall House has tried to follow the Greek word order. It's not a, uh, you know, in the manuscript tradition, it's not a big deal um, unless you're at church and you're trying to find different passages as uh, a sermon is going along or something like that, which is why I like having a leather edition of the Greek New Testament is because it's sort of a stealth Bible. It doesn't look like you're, you know, flaunting your uh, Greek knowledge or anything like that. You can just sort of tuck it in with your English Bible and not make a big scene with it. Uh, but the Tyndall House Greek New Testament has a different uh, book order. So some people are going to like that. I personally don't. So for my, for, for me, I would give uh, on this category five out of five for the TR, and I would give three out of five for the Tyndall House Greek New Testament. Now, size and portability. I'm going to say you can compare these two sizes. Um, the Tyndall House Greek New Testament looks like a small Bible. And um, that's good if you're just carrying it alone. But if you're trying to tuck it in with another Bible, like you want to follow along in church or something like that, this is a lot more uh, portable, a lot easier to use. Um, very thin, not not huge. Just a very, it's just very easy to tuck in with your English Bible. So out of size, I would say five out of five for the Tyndall, and four out of five. I'm sorry, um, four out of five for the Tyndall, and five out of five for the Texas Receptus. Okay, let's talk about the apparatus. So most Greek New Testaments will have an apparatus of sorts that will tell you where manuscripts differ. The Tyndall House Greek New Testament has no apparatus at all. So um, that's not the intent of this, but for me, that's important. And so I've got to give zero out of five 
for the lack of an apparatus. Again, some people are going to prefer that. That's up to you. That's personal preference. Don't hate on me in the comment section for that. That's just my preference. I want to see an apparatus. If I'm reading it in Greek, I want to know where the manuscript tradition lies, or at least the printed editions, where, where they land. The uh, Tyndall House Greek New Testament has such a limited apparatus that it's frustrating to me. I know their intention. Uh, they don't want an apparatus to distract from the text, and that's fine. That's going to come down to personal preference. But on this category, I'd say 0 out of 5 for this edition of the TR, and I would say 2 out of 5 for the Tyndall House Greek New Testament. Okay, so number 7, the main text. Uh, who has the best main text? Well, that's going to come down to where you land on textual criticism. I have a very, very conservative view on textual criticism, so myself, I would land somewhere probably between, between Dr. Maurice Robinson and F.H.A. Scribner, and so that would put me in a very conservative school of uh, textual criticism. So I tend to favor a lot of the Byzantine readings that have uh, been discarded by a lot of modern scholarship. And so that would put my base text closer to the TR than it would to the Tyndall House Greek New Testament. The Tyndall House Greek New Testament tries to follow the earliest manuscripts, which have traditionally been called Alexandrian manuscripts. And so for us who take a very conservative line on the text, we tend to think that that was probably more of a localized text um, in the early stages. I don't think... For my part, either one of these texts are bad or evil, and for devotional reading, um, you're going to glean from either one. So it's going to come down to whether you favor the majority of manuscripts, mostly, or you're going to favor antiquity. However, there are places in the Textus Receptus in this edition that are not well supported by extant Greek witnesses. That doesn't mean that they're not; de those readings aren't defended and they're and it doesn't mean that there are not people that, um, that I'm wording this poorly, aren't I? There are people who will defend those readings. They'll appeal to uh, virginal evidence and uh, maybe patristic evidence. Uh, but for my part, I think there are some readings in the Texas Receptus, as it stands, which are uh, not well supported, and I would lean against those. Um, but... Because there's no apparatus in the Texas Receptus, I'm not alerted to those. Um, but still, it's a text that's good. It's a good text, and I'm happy to use it. I like reading from the TR, so it's nice to have in my in my uh, with my Bible. Uh, likewise, the Tyndall House Greek New Testament doesn't give me all the variants. Very few of the variants from the Byzantine tradition. So. Both of these editions, for my purposes, uh, I wish they had a little bit more information, which would give us more detail when it comes to when either one of these depart from the vast majority of our manuscripts. So, the only other thing we could possibly talk about is the paper quality. The paper quality in the Tyndall House Greek New Testament is a little bit better than the, than the, the TR edition. However, the TR edition is very good. It has very good paper. And so there's a trade-off in thickness. So if I had to make the trade, I would go with the TR because I like it to be a little bit thinner. And you still have a good paper quality. Not quite up to the Tyndall House, but very, very good. So that's it. That's what I've got to share with you. You'll have to make your own decision. A lot of it's going to depend on whether you like the TR tradition or more of the um, modern editions with the following some of the Alexandrian manuscripts, which are older. Uh, some of those issues will just be a deal breaker for you one way or the other, but you'll have to make a decision which one's best for you, but I'm happy to give you the information that I know. So we'll see you on the next video.